because Mike Kafka is so new, so raw to the kind of the coaching scene, I still don't think he ends up with a head coaching job. I think he comes back for one more year. And if the Giants take a big step forward, then he's gone. There is a good chance that we lose one of them, if not both. But I still think that there's also a good chance we end up keeping both of them because, you know, Wink's been through the head coaching canvas multiple times. And so I think maybe the league is such an offensively driven entity now that a lot of teams go in the direction of young coordinators. Mike Kafka comes from the Chiefs. Then he installs his offense mixed in with Brian Dable of the Buffalo Bills. Now he has a ridiculous amount of knowledge and information regarding how to build a really great offense, but that doesn't mean he's going to be a great head coach. Being a head coach is a lot different. You're responsible for everybody, not just the offensive side of things. So yes, he may bring over his offensive playbook, but who's to say that he knows how to lead those defensive guys, lead men into battle like that? I think he is. We love all of our coordinators. We love all of our coaches. There's a reason that there's a lot of interest in them. I'd be really happy for them if they were to depart, but I selfishly want them to stay, obviously. 